In this video, we are going to discuss composite joint pattern example. So in this example, we shall implement this joint pattern. So let us get the assignment at first. At first, we need to run the formatting task for the both two XML files. That is the users.xml and posts.xml individually. It stores the output in a different file. And then in the second phase, it takes the data from newly created files and performs the joining. So we are dividing our assignment into two tasks. We will be executing them one by one. So let us go for one practical demonstration of this concept. This is one example on composite joint pattern which is falling under the joint pattern category. So in this joint pattern design pattern, in this particular problem, we shall have two parts of the task. So a task will have the two parts. First one is a formatting part and other one is a joint part. So in case of joint, uh, in case of formatting part, so this particular task will run for users and also for posts. So users will be the users.xml and post will be the posts.xml and then the output which will be produced for post will be kept in the users format folder and the post.xml output will be will be post onto the post format folder in SDFS and these two folders will be given as inputs to the main join in tasks and join type here will be inner join or the outer join. So let me tell you the respective. So here we are having the input folder. Let me go to the input folder. You can find that we are having the folder post. Under that we are having posts.xml. So let me come out. Let me go to this user folder. Input input slash users. We are having users.xml. So these two files are there. So let me also show you the content of these two files. At first we are concentrating on this posts.xml under the posts tag. We are having multiple rows are there. We have shown some of the rows here, but main file is having so many different rows, having different attributes under the row tag. That is our ID, post type ID, accepted answer ID, and so on. There are so many different attributes are there under the row tag. And this, uh, this is a content of the posts.xml. So I think you are getting my point. See the content here. We are having multiple attributes. Users.xml. Under the users tag, we'll be having the rows, row tags are there, having got so many different attributes are there, ID, reputation, creation date, display name, last, last access date, right uh, website URL, and so many. So many attributes are there under each and every row. Multiple records are there in this particular users.xml. So we shall open the Java program, and here we'll be having two Java classes. One is a com join formatted dot java another one is a com join mr tax dot java so at first we are discussing the first one in in case of com join formatted uh, formatted dot java we are having the one inner class which is extending the mapper which is exceeding the mapper and here this is a com join mr tax dot java that is the other we will be discussing that one later so now let me concentrate on this so com formatted ma mapper is extending the mapper class which is having one uh, variable that is the output key of the type of text and it is the mapper so we are going to um, this up, after defining this output key we will be going to uh, override the map method within the map method we are having map object that is xml parsed which will be instantiated after the uh, from the return argument of xml to map method this xml to map method will be taking one xml file as input and this is a corresponding uh, is this is a method which will be uh, taking one XML files, file as input and returns one hash map object as output and that will initialize the XML parsed. We're having the file split class object and it, it, it will be having the uh, context dot get input split string object is file file split dot get path dot get name. So that will be initializing this file that is the string. So the name will be kept onto this file. Now we shall initialize the, see this is a line which will initialize the string file. User ID will be initialized with null. If file dot contains user, that means if the file name is containing user, any kind of user anywhere, so a containing user string. So UID is equal to XML parse dot get ID. So we'll be taking the ID against the value will be kept 
uh, against the ID onto this UID. But if the file contents, if the file name contains post anywhere, in that case, it will take the owner user ID and that will initialize the ID. And after doing this initialization, if I find that ID is still remain null, then I shall return. I shall return if the ID is still remain null. Otherwise, output key will be set with this ID. And you shall write this key value pair, that is output key and value temporarily onto the context, keeping the whole block on the try and catch. So let me explain my main function. So you know it is the com join formatted Java. It should have the class name, then the input folder and the output folder. So it will be uh, having required two arguments there. So two uh, folders are to be passed. We are creating one job instance. The job name is composite join formatted. It is a job instance. We are setting the jar of class. We are setting the mapper class. This is a mapper class and a jar class also we have set. We have set. Now it is the normal reducer, the normal reduce, reducer work. So one reducer for small data set. Now we shall also initialize our input paths using argument zero. That is the first argument. Also the set output path, which will be uh, initialized with this argument one. So input paths with argument zero and output path will be initialized with this argument one and then set output key will be the having the output key class will be text class and output value class will be the text class and it will return zero for successful completion otherwise three. Now let me come to this uh, join com join MR task. So under this one we are extending the base class that is a map reduce base class and also implementing the interface mapper Implement, implementing the interface mapper. So here we are defining the map method here. So under the map method, see we are having this map method. This map method we, are, we have written only a single line that is output dot collect. That is the output dot collect. Output is output collector object dot collect. We are converting text type value dot get zero. That means the first value within this value. Value is a tuple writable that will be converted to text and value dot get one that will be also converted to text and that will initialize this output dot collect. This output will be will be initialized accordingly. So only a single step we have written this one this is a very basic one that is a com join mapper extends map reduce base and also implementing the mapper interface. So I think you are getting my point how we did this one. Now we shall so this is the ultimate part there yes so so only a simple step we have written here this is a step. Now let me come to this main function. So within this main function, we have defined one job configuration object and it will be initialized. The name is the composite join user comment. We are setting the jar file class that is a com join mr task dot class is the jar file class. Here you can find that we require four arguments to be passed four arguments the less than that or greater than that will not be accepted. So system dot exit one we require the class name then we require the user data path then post data path then output folder path or folder and here you can pass either inner or outer as I told you that here we will be doing either inner join or outer join user file path has been initialized with the first argument that is the arc 0 comment file path will be initialized with the second argument that is the arc 1 output will be initialized with the third argument that is our arc 3 uh, that is arcs2 and join type will be initialized with this arcs3. If the join types equals to inner or if the join types is equals to outer and if it is not true that means I put not before that then error message will be printed setting the mapper classes and it is a map only job. So that's why for set reduce task I'm writing zero. I don't require any reducer here. Next set input format there is a composite input format dot class we are mentioning that one which will be the input format and here the config dot set mapred dot join dot expr composite uh, input format dot compose that is a join type and then q key, key value text input format dot class which we mentioned earlier and then there is the user file path and comment file path so these are the parameters to be passed these are the parameters to be passed for this compose method. 
and that will that will instantiate our configuration that is a config dot set accordingly the config dot set will be done now we shall go for this text output format we shall go for the text output format so there is a set output path config and output config and output will be the two parameters for setting out this text output format then we shall go for the text output key which is of the uh, class will be of text class set output value class will be also the text class these two we have initialized both of them will be of the type of text as marking I am just marking that one now we defining one job defining one job that is a running job job client dot run job config so according to the config whatever you have defined so the job will be configured accordingly and then if the job is job is not complete then you shall wait for one second if the job is not complete then we shall wait for one second 1000 millisecond means one second if the job is successful then zero will be returned otherwise two will be returned so accordingly we have written this com join mrtax.java now it is the high time to define the uh, respective or should i say the respective jar file how to create the jar file you know going to the package and then right button click export then jar give the path and the respective uh, the path and the jar file name we are going to create the jar file as we did in the other cases also but here we have already created the jar file so we may skip the step we can directly go to the console to show you that how the commands are to be executed as I told you that we are supposed to use this users.xml and posts.xml will be creating user format folder and post format folder and then you shall go for this map to stacks initialization so let me write my commands so it is a long command for the first two times we'll be issuing the same command changing the parameters and then you shall call the mr task accordingly hadoop jar then you shall go for the respective folder for uh, there is a jar file folder so map reduce underscore design pattern then the jar files uh, jar underscore files join pattern dot jar then you shall mention the respective path here respective uh, package here package dot class so composite join pattern is the package name now we will be writing the class name we are call calling the first class that is a com join formatter then you shall give the input path of this posts dot xml that is the input slash post and then you shall go for the other one is a and this is a post formatter the respective path I'm giving so one error is there okay uh, there is a spelling mistake is there so let me make it jar I think the command rest of the command will execute as it is so let me go for this jar and let me execute the command now yes it is working so it will read the file from input post and it will put that one to the root post format folder will be issuing the same command also for the user but in that case it will be the user format and the XML file name will be users.xml so now let me bring back the previous command so from the history you can press the up arrow to bring back the previous command now let me delete this one because it should be user format is a folder name and here also for input we're supposed to delete this post we should make this one as users user yes user okay now let me execute the command so reading two xml files the formatted output has been dumped onto the respective post format folder and user format folder as you, as you see you have seen yes the command executed successfully let me come to this folder now 
let me go back here you can find that we are having this uh, user format and the post format user format post format is having this part file user format is also having the part file two part files are there already we have created now coming back to this console again so now let me execute the MR task as is well the Hadoop jar and then path of the jar file then the jar file name then the package name then the respective class name we will be taking the class name as MR task class I'm just giving the path of the format user format and also the post format paths I'm giving and also mentioning the output folder and the type of the joining we can have inner join we are going for inner join we can also go for outer join in this case so you see you have shown that you have seen that how the different commands are to be executed one by one we have explained our uh, program we have explained our program line by line we have shown all the commands we have also described that what are the purposes we had and how the folders are getting created with the respective part files so now let me show the content of the part file got created under the output folder and you can find that inner join has taken place minus cat then we shall go for slash output slash part star this is the content of the part file after joining inner joining I hope that you enjoyed the video you got the details that how we executed our code executed our commands step by step we explained this is the content of this joint output inner join output it's a long output I think it will be having a huge MB count also this is the content I'm just keeping that one on the screen you can see and read this is the content of our output I shall show you the part file again so we shall go for refresh then the output folder will come yes I've done the refresh output folder has come see the part file having got size of 169.17 MB so it is really a big file that's why the output is so big now we are just going to delete the output folders it is a normal practice so that we can execute the next MR task I hope the conception has become clear to you output thanks for watching this video